all right uh, so here i have a shoe model nike shoe model uh, i don't really know what the name is but it is divided into four separate parts uh, as you can see over here and in the shader editor we have of course four different shaders now the problem is that sometimes you might want to you know have all of these so all of these different shaders or all of these materials into just one node graph and the reason for that could be simply that you know you want to like interlink them or you want to make changes to the one and you want the other to follow as well now why is that not possible well because for let's say i have this part one and that has a uv map of one right and i just can't simply bring in this part two textures to the part one because we'll need to bring in the uv map too and if i type in the uv map node and if i type in oh, there's only one i can't type two and even if I type, it won't allow me to do that. So, you know, there's just no hope to do that. Well, there is. So let me show you quickly how you can merge all of the textures of all the objects you have over here into just one single body, a single body so that you can, you know, make changes to them uh, once there. So basically all the nodes, all the textures, they are going to be in one single node graph. So how do we do that? Well, let me just quickly create a new collection over here and I'm just going to call this one uh, whatever. Uh, that's a lie. I'm going to call it dirt, right? And I'm going to disable this, all right? Let's turn off rendering and I'm going to add a cube. It really could be anything. It doesn't really matter. All you have to do now is go to the geometry node workspace, right? And click new and just delete the group input node and simply drag and drop in uh, whatever collection you have and then just connect it to the geometry node uh, group output. Uh, what has changed? Nothing. But here's the thing. Uh, currently, this is, I think it's an instance, I would say, if, if we select separate children's, right? So now they are all separate. But if we take a look uh, over here, we really are not seeing the data, but we do have something pretty cool. So let me just disable that. And now let's head over to the shading tab, all right? And here we see the shoe as it is, all right? So let's just go back to the geometry node and add a set, set material node which is going to be this one and just I let's just create a new material and let's just call this merged all right and let's just uh, set this to merged cool so now if we go to our shading workspace you'll see that all the textures that were originally on the shoe they're gone and we have this white white texture but if I now type in a uv map node all right you know what I think I don't think uv map would work in this case yep so uv map won't but if I type in an attribute node right and now if I type in one and if I view the vector I it will just allow me to do that there we go the color actually and you'll notice that the uv map that was originally on our shoe that was renamed that was named one is here so if i duplicate this and if i type in two which is the which is actually the second part so this one so that that has a uv map named to two so let me just disable that and let's just select this and now if i view this take a look at that so now we have somehow managed to bring in all the data so all the uv map related data into a single file and i can just duplicate this set it to three because in in my case the third one is named to three and then the fourth one will be four so now all the all the uv maps of all the different objects they are all merged into one single node graph which i think you guys can understand what the heck <laughs> this means so what i'm going to do is actually just go over here to my shoe part one and copy all this texture so Control c uh, just hide this actually and let's just go over here and let's just paste it and I'm just gonna move it somewhere over here right and instead of so let's just view this currently we will get some weird weird shit that's because the UV maps are all messed up but because we're using the different coordinate over here so let me just connect the vector to the vector and all of a sudden look at that the bottom shoe so the bottom part which is one got the perfect perfect texture that it needed so i'm just going to move this over here and then what i'm going to do is select the part two over here and copy this and then bring that let me just move this over here let's just bring that over here and right, so that's the part two and we already have two over here so let's just connect that over here and now if i view this you can see the second part which uh, this is exactly what the second part is so we are getting the proper blend of the texture so if i disable this and enable this this is the part two right if i just solo it out you'll see we are getting this texture which is yeah so this one so this one right over here let me just doodle it out 
there we go so that one we are getting and that's just perfectly fine well now the question arises: how will we mix this two together well if you take a look at the attribute and if you take a look let me just go to the rendering mode and if you take a look at the factor you'll notice that we have a black and white mask as well so we can use this mask to actually blend these two textures let me just bring this over and let me just delete that and what i'm going to do is well if we take a look at the mask right it is it's black and it's white and we don't need that we need a sharp mask you know we don't need gray values 0 0.5 0 0.2 0 0.6 we don't need that we just need one or zero one meaning that any object will show and black meaning the other object will show right so you guys know what it is so i'm just going to add a color ramp node and we are already weaving it so i'm just going to bring this white value to something like 0 0.01 close that will give us a very sharp sharp result and now what we can do is simply mix these two together so let me just connect that as a factor and instantly you'll see that this is all working out and now rest all we have to do is bring in the remaining of the textures so uh, let me just bring this over here and i'm going to bring in the third texture which is right over here and at this one you guys can totally skip the video from this point on because you already know what we're doing over here but for those of you who want to see how the rest of it plays out feel free to be a part of this all right so let's take a look at the third it works just fine so we need the factor so let's take the factor over here add a color ramp you know what let's just duplicate the color ramp all right there we go and let's just connect the factor over here and let's just move this all the way over here let's just mix these two together and let's just get rid of the factor look at that it is working just fine and now all we have to do is just merge in the third one and at this point you know it would really be helpful to like merge uh, or just basically frame these so that you know you can later uh, identify them as one two or three all right so this is gonna do that you can rename this after you know it doesn't really matter just select it select the frame and it have two and that way you can rename the label but i'm i'm sort of in a hurry right now so i'm just gonna control j all right so that's the third one we just simply need to bring in the fourth one which is somewhere over here so let's just get that control c go over here control v it's gonna paste it there okay g uh yep all right so i think uh, i did something right over here no worries delete this we already have the fourth one right over here and basically you know over here the name again just get the name of the uv map it's already there uh, when you do the geometry node thing right and let's view this okay we are getting what we want and i think the subsurface also got connected i think it's because i pressed the f key uh, but nevertheless all right so now let's mix this let's grab our color ramp shift d and let's just connect the factor over here and let's just connect the factor over here and if the factor isn't working you can just you know switch this nodes around to see if it's working but yeah look at that so now this shoe is totally identical with what we have over here you can see as we overlap so as you overlap it's gonna of course this is the original one and this is what we modified and it is totally the same and the best part is now that you can just totally do all you need to do the all the handiwork all the texturing and all that in one single node graph in, instead of you know jumping between node graph and node graph that's going to be a heck of a thing and of course there's the 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 benefits and advantages would depend from project to project so for something like super simple you really don't need to do this but if you know you're going to work on something complex and if you know that it's better to you know would it's better to just have all of this textures in just one single node graph then this is the trick and the reason why it happens is because since we imported the objects right they were at first they were different objects over here in the shoe collection but since we imported them all the textures all the sorry not the textures but the attributes they are they they all come under a single single uh a geometry that way we can go in when we assign the data material we can then access those right over here so that's this is two it's one and that's it uh okay so yeah oh uh, yeah that was it and i would like to thank mikhail i think that's uh is his name i think i forgot to do that at the start of the video again anyway uh, i did that at the last video as well but yeah mikhail thank you so much for providing me this model uh it really really means a lot and this is a super good model he did it he did he did the modeling and texturing himself so yeah pretty cool thing mikhail you guys you are a lifesaver and yeah so that was the, hel uh, the helpful tip hopefully you guys uh, learned something new today i'm sure this will come uh handy at some point and yeah the geometry nodes what a beauty so now this is how our shoe looks which is pretty which is exactly like how it looked before but now you can manipulate it all the all the textures in just one single workspace so yeah that's it for the video i'll see you in the next one until then 
Be infinite.